Siri. Call Axel Hodges. Hey, Dingo, where's Axel at? Dude, he says you'll be here, you'll be here. You'll be on time. Say is today's been a crazy day, and thank God we built soundproofing in these rooms. Welcome to the noise nest. What I wanted to do with this place was to combine all of the different brands and companies that I'm working with today, whether that's Big Noise, our record label, Rect Global, our esports organization, Find Your Grind, our emerging education technology company, or even Talent X the top of the top gamers and TikTokers in the world. We wanted to create a space where all of those things can flourish and thrive. Welcome to the Noise Nest. Let's jump into the first room. This room is so rad because it's got its own lounge, production room, and then a vocal booth. And what's so cool about this lounge is that we've tried to match every kind of hangout lounge space in this entire complex with these really cool kind of like old school flyer vibes. So, you know, back in the day up on Sunset, people would throw up all their old flyers to their shows and to their concerts and things. And so we thought it was really cool to kind of not only brand the noise nest in each of these rooms, but to give it kind of that throwback, like old school flyer vibe. One of my favorite production rooms, I would have to say, because of the size of room that this is, people are always shocked that we put these big Genelec main speakers in here. Of course, shout out to PMC. We always make sure we have some PMC speakers in all of the rooms throughout the noise nest. Really, in each of the vocal booths in this entire complex, we've tried to give it a very similar matching vibe throughout. What's awesome about this um, particular room is that we get a lot of film and TV related scoring and production work done. It's a smaller room, but people definitely feel comfortable these days in smaller rooms that you don't always need the big extravagant studios to get stuff done. What's really cool about this desk that we love the most, you turn off the lights, it lights up. And if you couldn't tell, this is our restroom. Come on in, there's, a, there's actually a special reason why I wanted to take you into the bathroom and I'll tell you why. Come on in, come in, come in. We needed to make sure we ran mic lines so that anytime we needed to record, we have the ability to literally plug into the wall wherever it is. And we thought a bathroom, being how loud it is and echoey it is, why not throw some mic lines in here in case you need to put a drum set in here, put a guitar amp in here, put someone singing in here. You gotta get creative these days. So unlike a lot of really dark studios today that you might find, we wanted to make ours super light and open up the windows, get a lot of natural light in this entire place to make people feel energized and excited all of the time while they're creating music. Visually looking into the building, you get hit with this. History is made by the loud ones, which we think is so cool and so relevant and so true. What's cool about this area is that we did this really cool kind of custom noise nest slider. Shout out to Monster Energy. These guys are always keeping our artists and creators super energized while they're in the studio and while they're working. We have Yanni working the front desk. What I think is so cool about this building is that I really wanted to take like old school elements of studios in the 70s and 80s that kind of had just kind of old school like brick and different textures and tones throughout it, but really give the noise nest a more modernized and future forward kind of approach towards our design and style. So you'll see a lot of kind of the old school um, elements of, 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 you know, studios in the past, but given kind of that modern approach to all the design in here, which I think is a really cool kind of blend we tried to hit across all the rooms in this entire space. Finally made it to the woolly mammoth of recording studios. Come on in. 
You will never see a console like this anywhere in the world because we have built it ourselves. We thought about what could we do in a room that's so special like this to give it really kind of a custom, one of a kind vibe. And so what you'll see here is a blend of analog and digital, similar to how we've kind of thought about the entire space. We have 32 channels of an API 1608 board, um, really kind of giving you that, that analog look and feel and sound that so many people still crave today. I will say that these speakers already have been blown out a couple times because of how loud people like to play the music. So a lot of times people like to kind of step out of the, the larger room into a more compact space where they could just kind of clear their heads. This is just a really cool, another lounge that we've, we've created to uh, give people kind of that serenity outside of the studio. All right, so walking over into the vocal booth for this room, easy access to be able to look towards the producer or whoever you're working with. So whoever's in this booth kind of has line eyesight with whoever's in the room, which is super important to kind of have that constant communication and just to feed off each other's energy. So this is a really, really cool um, vocal booth we have here. And please, don't be shy. Step into our live room. This is one of the coolest rooms um, for me personally, just because of the ceiling. You can change the color and vibe of the studio based upon how you're feeling, what your energy is for the day. So some people, you know, left it on orange, you could turn it to blue, green, purple, whatever you want, based upon the type of song you're writing or whatever mood you're in, which is super cool. We're able to record live acoustic pianos, um, obviously a lot of different keyboards and synthesizers, a lot of different guitar options to choose from. We have this ladder that kind of moves back and forth, but really the inspiration behind this was to kind of give it that old school, like library look and feel. But instead of having books, we have, we have drums. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the second building on the Noise Nest Complex. Man, this is where it all started. Eight years ago, my friends and I moved in here to start songwriting for other artists. That moved us into creating this as a full service recording studio. It's really an 1800 square foot building, but it has such legendary historic vibes. Come check it out. What's so cool about this space is that we really wanted to make sure we didn't forget our roots and where we came from. So we posted up some really cool photos of the first orig original building of what this place looked like. Pretty crazy to kind of think back and look at, you know, how much this place has really evolved and the amount of things that we've been able to do out of here the past couple years. All right, so definitely one of my favorite spots in this entire building because we have two brand new arcades thanks to Rect Global. Check it out. What do we got? What are we playing, guys? Mario World Classic. Classic Mario World, and what do you got? What are you playing? Frogger. Oh, Frogger, <laughs> of course. Always a good time, taking a second to decompress. We built this awesome open conference space. Um, we have a lot of our team from Big Noise always working here, working on records. We've been able to work with a lot of amazing companies and brands and do some pretty cool partnerships and collaborations with people, whether that's Team Rogue that we work with here, Find Your Grind, the Anaheim Ducks, or even big noise, we've been able to create some pretty cool apparel and do all of our product shots out of this space. Come to think of it, yo, has anyone seen Mike? Oh, oh, what's up, Mike? How are you, man? Good to see you. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Riley is holding down the helm of this entire building, studio manager, and one of my best friends from such a long time ago. We started this place together, believe it or not, over eight years ago, and it's come a long way, hasn't it? Amazing to see the growth. All right, welcome to what we call the pink room. Once again, this is another one of our production rooms. Gaming, streaming, podcasting, music production, one and the same, a bit smaller of a room, but it's quaint, it's cozy, people like the vibe, and probably one of my favorite things about this room is that these couches are all built in now to the wall, which is so rad. And let me let you in on a little secret. Why don't you come over here? You can sit on the couch now and record by lifting up this cool little panel under here. You got your eighth inch adapter for any music you need to play to the speakers. 
And then we actually have a headphone jack and a way to plug in a mic so you can actually just record on the couch and never have to lift a finger. So yeah, pretty cool. We love this room. Let's keep it going. All right, so as we rebuilt these rooms, we had one thought in mind, which was how do we maximize the amount of content we can create out of this space? So what's so cool about this room is, of course, you can get a lot of recording done, a lot of music production, but now we can go live on Twitch. We have a lot of gaming and streaming that happens out of here now. We're shooting all of our podcasts down here now, and it's just been a really cool space to be able to do a multi-purpose, multi-faceted approach to creating content, which is great. Over here, we built out this brand new um, live vocal booth where people sing their hearts out. Thanks for stopping by the noise nest. None of this place will be possible without the amazing team, partners, and people that make this place come alive. Thanks so much for dropping in. We'll see you guys next time.